In this lesson, we'll create the large blades for our weapon. So we want to create some blades coming out of the side here. So I'm going to go to the top view. We'll change that back to top. And I'm going to use, this time, a box. So let's just drag this box out. It's going to be you know, somewhere in this area. So maybe something like that. And then we'll drag it up to give it some height. We can go to our perspective to change that up a little bit. And so I want to just make this the thickness of kind of the thick part of the blade. So let's make that a little bit thinner. So we can change the length here. We can change the width. And then we can change the height. Maybe something more like that. Okay, now I do want to give it some divisions because we want to change the shape of this and make it more of a bladed shape. So we'll start to bump up our divisions along the length. I think six divisions would be fine. And we want to make sure that we have one division on the height. Okay, and let's also give us a few divisions on the width. Something like that. We may need to add some more, but this will give us the opportunity to come in and start shaping this. So let's go ahead and convert this to an editable poly. All right, and I'm going to take this and scale it down in the Y, just this end part. I want to move it back kind of right about there. This is going to be where the base of our blade is coming from. Okay, and now we'll use these points to shape this blade. So I'm going to go now to the outermost point and make that the tip of the blade. And then I'll take these and make it kind of a nice blade shaped curve that I want to create out here. So we'll go ahead and do something like that and maybe spread them out a little bit. Okay, and this is going to be the other point. So I'll go ahead and bring this forward. So maybe something like that. And then we'll create a nice smooth curve between these. And maybe something like that. Okay, so your blade can be shaped however you want. I'm just making kind of a standard blade so the, the edge would be over on this side. Now we need to also have a smooth curve in here. So we'll start to take these points and just move these out. And I'm just moving them in the X and Y. So again, we don't change the thickness of our what we've got here. And then in here, we'll kind of bring these in and make kind of a nice smooth curve there as well. Okay, and then up here these need to be kind of squeezed together. So we'll kind of bring these up and then we've got that in there. So we'll go ahead and just space these out a little bit. Alright. Now I also want to go ahead and start to uh, bring out the blade Okay, and that's where the extra resolution that we added is going to come in handy. If we go ahead and select basically the, the uh, vertices, starting the second one down from here, we'll go ahead and just pull these out. Take the ones on the tips and go to scale and scale those out. To the same sort of thickness and then I'll take these right here and I'm just going to scale those out a little bit maybe not quite as much as the outer ones and then move that in and then this one and this one will do the same thing just kind of scale this out a little bit all right so now we also need to change the uh, the thickness of this so we could use a modifier, but I don't really have that many points here. So I think it's probably just as easy to come in and play with the shape of these vertices. So I'll go ahead and take the ones on the blade down fairly thin. Okay, I can select this loop very quickly and scale that down. And I can do the same thing here. Get, just get a nice taper there. All right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and take these points. I'm going to scale them down just a little bit more. 
and I want to take those polygons let me go in here I want to take those polygons and start to bring in the base of this that's going to extend across and create the blade on the other side okay so I want to have a little bit of a, a division at this point so I can do an inset so open the inset settings and that's probably pretty good okay and then I can do an extrude change the extrude settings and I'll just bring that out by group and I'll do it 35 or so it doesn't matter just so it's extending out and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete those polygons and then I want to take those points and from the top view let's go ahead and move those points over to that axis okay so it's kinda of right in there so that will be one blade with the idea that we want to extend that over to the other side okay so once we have our single blade we now can go ahead and extend that to the side and you can see that I've got a couple points that have gotten off here so I want to make sure and fix that before we before we do any sort of duplicating alright make sure that that's set and now if we want to go ahead and create the blade on the other side we can go ahead and turn on symmetry uh, symmetry modifier Go ahead and add that back. Okay. And so now I can take this mirror and move it over until we've got that mirror, until we move it over into the basically the center, our origin right in there. Okay. So that'll give us kind of our symmetrical blades there. Okay and we can then go in collapse those down and at this point you'd want to go back in and do your UVs okay so we'd go back in and make a, a selection here probably based on again uh, let's go ahead and make sure we add our unwrap UVW we'll do this very quickly make another selection here making sure not to select uh, anything down on the bottom okay let's go ahead and deselect uh, some of these faces here and we'll actually select basically just half of this so I would select the top half and then probably do a planar map on that and relax it okay so you do the same thing go in here Make sure you don't have any of these faces down there selected. All right, so go ahead and add, and you can go to your wireframe or isolate it if you have problems seeing what it is that you're uh, selecting. Okay, so you get the, uh, the the polygon selected. You do a planar map. Go in and edit that. Okay, you can see it looks like that. Let's go ahead and turn that planar map off and then you can take this and I usually move things out so I can see them a little bit better. Go to relax. And if you can see we start to relax that. Go ahead and stop it. Now the underside you may want to go ahead and flip it before you do your relax. Okay and this, and this will give you the opportunity to come in and create a nice UV layout. And you want to make sure that you drop that back into your zero to one space when you're done. Okay so uh, following that, following the UVs you want to go in and add some edge loops right along these edges just as we did with the other piece to add the sharpness so I'd add them along these corners I'd add them along these lines and along here to make sure that you keep that sharpness but I would do that after you do the UVs alright so we'll go ahead and I'll finish that up and then in the next lesson we will uh, continue the process by building the small blades and then we'll move on to the handle Following that, we'll be ready to take this out into Mudbox to do some detailing. So we'll go ahead and start that process in the next lesson.